So good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be cooking tres leches cake. Um, tres leches cake, as the name suggests, we'll be using three kinds of milk. So we'll be using condensed, but for this recipe we'll be using um, dulce de leche. And then um, we'll also use evap and then we'll use whipped cream. Since the main ingredients of our dish is milk, uh, I prefer using my favorite brand, uh, Carnation Evap. So we'll be using Carnation for our Evap part and also for the condensed part or we'll make our own Dulce de Leche using Carnation. So let's see what our ingredients is for this dish. So for our ingredients, we need one cup flour. Uh, we'll be using cake flour for this. And then we need two teaspoons of baking powder. And also we need one four teaspoon of salt. For our wet ingredients, we need three large eggs. So for the eggs, we've divided it into the egg yolk, which you see here. And also um, we need the egg white. But the egg white, we've already whipped it into stiff picks. Um, we whip that with um, sugar. So we whip that with one cup of sugar and then the three egg whites. Aside from those two, we also need two and a half tablespoon of oil. And then we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And also we need our carnation evap milk. We need one fourth cup of carnation evap milk. For our tres leches, we would need three fourth cup of carnation evaporated milk. Um, we would also need three fourth cup of condensed milk. But for this recipe, instead of using condensed milk, we'll be using dulce de leche made from carnation evap. Or you can also use three fourth cup carnation condensed milk if you don't want to do the dulce de leche and lastly we need half cup of whipped cream so for this recipe all you need to do is combine all your dry ingredients which is your flour your baking powder and then salt combine those three in one bowl and then combine in another bowl your eggs, oil, vanilla extract, and then your carnation evap milk. So now we have our bowl for our dry ingredients. We also have the bowl for our wet ingredients. And then we have our bowl that we have our whipped egg white in, with egg white and sugar. So what we just need to do, this is a fairly easy recipe. We just need to combine our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients to so dump everything in. Slowly mix it until everything's well incorporated. The name Tres Leches might sound intimidating to some, um, but really it's a fairly, fairly easy recipe to do. Um, it's just a very simple chiffon cake recipe. So once you have a paste of uh, once you have a paste, what you'll do next is you add the egg mixture, the egg white mixture, into your paste. So first, get one third of your mixture in. So you get one third in just to break it even. And then from there, you can add more of your egg whites in to lighten up the butter. Put everything in and then we fold it to make sure that there's no lumps 
and your butter or your cake mixture is lightly fluffy. You have a nice smooth dough mixture here. You can add it into your oil in cans. So this is very in season right now. Everyone's doing everything in a tin can. So make sure it's oiled and floured. Um, just add your mixture in. Um, don't fill it up until the ring, just halfway through, because we'll add our milk mixture after and then we'll top it with whipped cream. Then our mixture will cook it in the oven for around 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So while we're waiting for our cake to bake, what we'll do next is incorporate our whipped cream, our carnation evap, and then our dulce de leche made with carnation evap and condensed milk. We'll just put everything in a container and then we'll wait for it to set until we have our cake ready. We have our carnation evap in, our whipped cream, and then lastly, um, we'll add our dulce de leche in. So if you don't want to use dulce de leche, you can use carnation condensed milk as substitute for this. Um, both are equally yummy. Actually, you can also make dulce de leche from condensed milk, but um, that is not the recipe that I've been doing ever since. I've been ever since I've just been using kebab for making dulce de leche. It takes time, but for me, um, tastes better if you do that. So there. So you just mix it and make sure that your dulce de leche is. Um, well incorporated into the milk mixture. So this milk mixture we will add into our cake once it's cooled down and then we'll have it soak for 24 hours or at least 12 hours at least. Sorry. So our cake is now in the oven. Um, it will be in the oven for at least 10 to 15 minutes but you can adjust based on um, the doneness of the cake. So we'll check now. We're on the five minute mark. So again, as I've said The cake will be at 350 degrees or 175 Check if it's done We're already on the 10 minutes It's still wobbly um So there, we need to add more time to it. So we're now back here in the photo studio, um, or also known as my brother's room. So we've finished everything. Um, I've already took a bite for photo purposes. It's for artistic purposes. So now it's time for me to show you our final product. 